Hi everybody, it is October 19, 2017. I don't know if any of you got to see a Plaintruth.info's video, How and Why California Fires Were Do Created, Directed, Energy Weapons Created. But if you haven't, click on the link below. Watch the entire video because the entire video is really very, very good. But I'm just going to play a small section of this video. And frankly, it has 69,052 views. This needs millions of views. Listen to this. You want to talk in your face evidence? It's right here. All right, so let's blow the skirts over your guys' heads by showing you how this works. This is part of the Agenda 21. I highly recommend a book by Rosa Corey, who lives here in the area of Santa Rosa, wrote a book called Behind the Green Mask about Agenda 21. She chronicled the Santa Rosa area, and look what gets targeted, Santa Rosa, Sonoma, Napa. All right, so here's the areas of evacuation on Monday. This is where the fires first started. Big one in Santa Rosa, Napa, Sonoma. This is when it first broke out. All right, now check this out. Now here's the evacuation area from Santa Rosa. Now notice the streets, Fountain Grove, Shanate, Montecito. Notice where these were evacuations on the initial thrust. Now I want to bring your attention over to this document here. And this is a document that was sent by a lady named Kathleen. It's the City of Santa Rosa Department of Planning and Economic Development Citywide Summary Pending Development, June 2017. And if you go back and forth between these two, you will notice these streets are the exact same. Here's Shanate, here's Pacific, Mendocino Avenue, here's Highway 12. Isn't it interesting that the exact areas that they're evacuating are the exact areas that are zoned for Agenda 21 development. You cannot make this stuff up. This is from, uh, from Kathleen who wrote, the maps of the fires and the planned are already approved housing projects are identical, nearly identical. I think that our government and developers who put them in office are, are the arrogance and think that no one will notice. If anyone does point this all out, being able to prove it is another issue. Um, now, they've taken this site down since she posted it. She did a screensaver, so we have it still. All the insurance companies are set up at the shelters to process claims. Pay everyone off fast, calm them down, and put money towards the new home. When they find out how much additional money it will cost and how long it takes to navigate the building permits process, buying a ready-made brand new home will be, an easy will be an easy decision, even if it means a much smaller one on a smaller lot. It kills me when I think of all the people who are homeless and who... If they have the means and termination rebuild, will not be able to have anything like the homes they lost, even if they have unlimited funds, because of the absurd building codes that are being put into place thanks to the UN Agenda 21. Fireplaces won't be allowed. Setback requirements are changed. Building high, high requirements. Green engineering design requirements. And what do you think after these fires are going to do, folks? They're going to add to that. And other arbitrary codes that were deliberately created to make a building a residence needlessly frustrating time-consuming, and very expensive for developers. How convenient that everyone who just recently lost a home will be, at, be able to buy a ready-made stack-and-pack residence in a nice but much smaller planned development with their insurance money, if they get any. There are plenty of even smaller apartment options will be there. What about all the burned-down properties? People will be glad to do, do what, get whatever they can if they choose not to rebuild, and the developers, banks, and speculators are waiting now with cash in hand. This is happening with FEMA in uh, Houston as well, talking to people. FEMA finally arrived, and they set up a loan office. You can borrow up to $200,000 against your molded home, and they, you, this is part of the same game. This is Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. Please read up on this, folks. But, but getting back to this document, so here's the evacuation uh, area over here, Santa Rosa evacuation area. Here, here's the identical map of where they want to rezone everything. And if we scroll down, here's all the properties, and you see conditional use, design review major, design review major, and here we go again. Here's the same roads, Piner, Guerneville, West College Avenue, and this, this is the pending uh, development on the other side of the freeway. Same exact stuff, College, Pacific, Fulton, right where they want to redesign everything with design reviews. Oh, how conveniently a middle-of-the-night, out-of-nowhere fire with... 2,000 degrees plus temperature Fahrenheit. Look at this map. 
This is on the east side. This is Hone Avenue, Yalupa. Again, <laughs> it's just a coincidence, folks. Coincidence theory. This is the area Yalupa down in here, part of the evacuation area. How convenient that the redevelopment area coincides perfectly with the Santa Rosa development plan, Sebastopol Road, Stony Point Road, all in the evacuation sites. You cannot make this stuff up. That's right. And boy, does it make me sick to my stomach. And I just was doing some research on FEMA buying up homes and property after floods. And guess what? They are buying up homes, houses in Houston, just like they did in Missouri, the 2011 flood when the Army Corps of Engineer purposely blew the levees that flooded out so many properties, homes on prime farmland, homes that were in families for generations and generations. They destroyed them, they go in, and they buy up Property and homes, pennies on a dollar. FEMA, George Soros, was also involved in the buying of an awful lot of that property in Missouri in 2011, but they did the same thing uh, after Hurricane Katrina, buying up homes, pennies on a dollar. They're at it again in Houston. It's so in our face. It's so sickening, and it's so unbelievable that we cannot get through to our fellow Americans. They just will not, will not acknowledge facts, evidence, documents that prove that these areas are being deliberately destroyed thousands homeless and you know what's um, uh, uh, unbelievable Drudge has not had any of these fires on his site for days in Santa Cruz the fire in Santa Cruz is only 30 percent contained 30 percent contained 300 homes threatened and my neighbor actually said to me this morning or no, yesterday morning, she was she was angry. She said, "I don't understand why, because I've been talking to her about these fires in California, and, and she said I don't understand why I didn't hear anything about the fires, because she watches the morning news shows on these network channels. She said they're not mentioning anything about the fires. So this morning." I asked her, did you hear anything about the fires? And she said, no, nothing, nothing. Thousands homeless. The fires continue and we are hearing nothing. God. Anyway, I will link below to this video. I do hope that you circulate this far and wide. 